everyone, I'm King. Welcome back to King's Bad channel. So we now have the gold cards available for the level 150 Rachel map. I know you are excited and I am excited about it too. So let's jump right to it. The first MVP or mini boss. I'm not sure which is MVP or mini boss. But the first one we have is the gloom under night. Like usual, there will be void day a night card. The void card is an armor card. It has water attribute resistance for 78.8%. That's almost 100%. So whoever got this card, especially for the newer server that is under the older region server, you will be essentially almost immune to the mage class. That's how OP it is. The level 150 gold card and with 42% maximum HP. Next, we have the day card it is an accessory card all right so it decreased the haste and attack speed by 10.5 percent but increased the final physical penetration and final physical damage bonus by 29.4 percent which is not that bad right i'm sure players will have high haste and attack speed on this level so a little penalty for having extra stat next we have the night card and it is a weapon card it has the same stat as to the day card, but it has the magic stat. So for its effect, it doesn't say here that you must equip all three cards to have its effect triggered. But the way this infographic is presented, it may imply that you need to equip all three to trigger its effect. We just have to wait when the level 150 racial map is patched into the game to find out. But it doesn't make sense, right? If you need all three three cards to get its effect, why you need to equip an accessory card that increases physical penetration and then you need a weapon card that increases magic penetration. It doesn't make sense. So yeah, we can say that the card effect is stand alone for each card and is triggered right away after you equip any of the card. So the gloom under night card effect is when you deal skill damage to the target has a 10% chance to cast a spell or inflict a curse called shadow of the end that deal 1200% ghost attribute adaptive damage to single target unit and at the same time inflict heavy damage effect the effect cannot be staked and is ineffective against mvp mini and bosses the heavy damage effect temporarily reduce 10% of the target maximum hp and last for 6 seconds the shadow of the end curse on the other hand can be triggered only once every 12 seconds. When the weapon refine is plus 6 and above, the target maximum HP is reduced additionally 5% for every refine level, up to refine level plus 10. Next, we have the retribution. Literally, the name is retribution. The first one, we have the void weapon card. It decreases the haste and final attack speed to increase final crit and crit damage stat. If we have penetration stat for the previous card now we have card for the crit stat next for the day card we have a headgear card it has the same stat but it increases physical attack and final physical damage bonus stat and the last one we have night accessory card it is for the magic class user it increases magic attack and final magic damage bonus stat and its card effect is quite similar to the gloom under night card effect dealing skill damage has 10% chance to inflict. This time, the spell name is Final Judgment, and it deal higher and different type of damage. 2000% Shadow Attribute Adaptive Damage to Single Target Unit. Its secondary effect is also different. For every 10% target HP lost, the spell effect chance is increased by 8%, up to 40%, and the rest is the same. The Final Judgment curse trigger once every 12 seconds. When weapon and refine is plus 6 and above, deal additional 500% shadow attribute additive damage for every refine level, up to refine level plus 10. Moving on, we have how to pronounce this, Tulanux. I hope I said it correctly. For the void card, it is a weapon card. So I think this is a pattern for the level 150 gold card. It decreases final haste and attack speed, and increase physical attack and final physical damage 
each bonus stat for the day card it is a cloak card with win attribute resistance and increased maximum hp and lastly the knight card which is a headgear card now this one is for the crit user it increases final crit and final physical damage bonus stat when dealing normal attack and skill damage has a 10 percent and 30 percent chance to summon a blizzard around you with six meter range dealing 180 percent adaptive water attribute damage to surrounding target every 0.5 second last for five seconds and at the same time inflict slow status that reduce 50 percent movement speed during this duration your fixed cooldown is increased by 10 seconds fixed cast time increased by two seconds final attack speed reduced by 50 percent and the slow effect increased by five seconds the blizzard effect trigger once every 20 seconds and if your final crit stat is higher than the final penetration the blizzard damage can crit wow so this card make you play like a mage for every 20 seconds you can cast the blizzard skill which have effect to slow down the surrounding target but of course with some penalty it increases your skill cooldown cast time and also reduce the attack speed and the last one we have shelter the first one is void weapon card it has a new stat for this group of mvp and mini debuff reduction and hp regen next shelter day accessory card it increases final physical penetration and final physical damage bonus stat and lastly shelter night shoe card it increases neutral attribute resistance and maximum hp and for its effect it involves holy and shadow attribute if your holy attribute enhancement stat is higher than the shadow attribute has nine percent chance to summon holy array gain holy attribute armor normal attack and skill additionally deal 100% and 300% holy attribute adaptive damage and same goes to the other way around if your shadow attribute enhancement stat is higher than the holy attribute you gain shadow attribute armor and deal shadow attribute adaptive damage the effect lasts for 20 seconds and can be triggered once every 10 seconds now if the holy and shadow attribute enhancement stat has the same value the attribute effect will be triggered randomly if you have higher final crit stat than the final penetration the damage dealt is then can crit the effect kind of specific to certain job class but if it is used by the right user it can help you to deal more damage all right so that is the gold card for the level 150 rachel map so as i'm making this video i noticed that there is already the level 150 blue cards posted on the taiwan facebook page so i'll be doing that video next i'll be doing some translation for that so it will take some time but it will not take that long so stay tuned for that video now what do you think of the level 150 gold card is it what are you hoping for let me know at the comment below that's it for this video this time video shout out goes to Thank you for always supporting me and this channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. And as always, happy playing. Bye-bye.